Hey my friends, Paul Ingram here. Welcome back to Collie Center. One of the things I've been noticing on some of my older videos is this uh, common comment that keeps reoccurring, keeps coming in. And I think this is because there's a lot of kind of new people that are seeking out Filipino martial arts for the first time. You know, these are people that are brand new to Kali, our niece, Screama. And the comments all go something like this. That, you know, hey, when I see these movements with the stick, it looks like these are movements that can also be done with the sword. And can I practice these movements with other weapons from other martial arts styles? Like, can I use a katana? Or can I use a dao, like a Chinese broadsword or saber? And obviously the uh, answer is yes. But as a more advanced practitioner or when I'm training with like my advanced students, you know, a lot of times we take this, these types of questions and answers just kind of for granted, right? Like, yeah, no duh. But as somebody new coming into the art, you know, this is a real genuine question. I think this is a very fair question to ask because, you know, you don't know and you're just seeking to learn you're at least you're seeking some knowledge and you're looking at like hey man this is the training gear that i have can i start practicing kali with a katana even though you know i don't have like a bolo or those cool rattan sticks and the answer is yes and let me show you some examples today when it comes to kali our niece is screama the filipino martial arts kali is a blade art when you see us using the sticks the rattan sticks, yes, this can be used as a weapon. And a stick, right, an impact weapon can cause a you know, very, very crazy amount of damage you know, when applied properly. But it's really about what the stick represents. The stick primarily, the rattan stick, is primarily a training tool, right? We do drills, we do feeder drills, we spar with this because we don't really want to be you know, sparring and hitting our training partners or other tribesmen with blades. Right? We don't want to be injuring our team. So we go to the sticks and you know, especially for new people that are starting out, we like starting with the sticks because right, at some point when you're training, especially in the beginning, you're going to hit yourself in the head or hit your other hand or hit yourself in the knee or something like that. And obviously we'd rather you make those mistakes with a stick than with an actual sword. So when you see the sticks in Kali, this has kind of become like the staple signature weapon of Filipino martial arts, but don't make it a mistake. Please understand that this is a blade art, traditionally, and this is a training tool for this. So today I've got one of my favorite wushu or kung fu weapons, which is the uh, dao or the broadsword, the Chinese saber, love this weapon been uh, training it a little bit here and there uh, on my other channel and let me go ahead and show you some of the movements that transfer over I mean really all the movements can transfer over this is a training one that's why it's a uh, wobbly like that you know real combat ones gonna be stiff like this bolo here but let's kind of dissect this let's take three very simple basic Kali drills and see if we could apply that to the uh, to the Dao so from here, if we strike our ones and two on our X right here, right, we have a couple different slashing techniques. We can slash the full range of motion, which is the large slash, which is the first manipulation off of the shoulder. We can slash the medium slash, which is the manipulation off of the elbow. And then we have the small slash, which is the manipulation off of the wrist. Okay? So again, we can cut from the shoulder, from the elbow and from the wrist. And we can also come up the X and we can apply all the same, all the same basic manipulations there. And then we could strike that plus, the horizontal and the vertical. These are some of the very basic drills that I like to teach my students to start learning how to handle the weapons, right? Because it offers all three lines of attack, all three angles. It offers up our diagonal strikes on the downward and on the ascending. And this, these drills offer the horizontal and the vertical angle strikes, which is basically all three 
of the different angles of striking. All right? You can play around with this. You can strike upwards. Right? You can change the elevation and all that. So can we apply the same thing to a different weapon from a different martial art? Absolutely. So if I'm here, I can strike the same strikes, downward diagonal, and we're not necessarily using this like a, you know, like a wushu weapon anymore. We're not necessarily using this how it would be traditionally used in Kung Fu. We're using it as we do in Kali. We can start striking off of the elbows. And we have our wrist cuts as well. Of course, we could strike upwards. We call that the upward figure eight. We could tighten it up. And we can strike our plus. There's our horizontals to our verticals. Now you'll have to watch out for the length of certain weapons because some weapons are a lot longer and they might end up hitting the ground on some of these vertical strikes. So there might have to be a little bit of a modification that needs to be made. This one's okay, but if I was to strike lower, I'll probably definitely end up hitting the ground. Okay, so you got to learn the weapon and understand what its limitations are. Well, that's pretty neat. How about some of the double stick uh, strikes? So we have our basic Heaven Six here. We'll take a look at this one. And we'll take a look at our Redonda Six, or what we call here at Kali Center, our Double Weave. Hey, I just did a video that was uh, working this one in. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you want a more breakdown to this particular drill. Otherwise, you can always go to the Kali Center channel or just in a YouTube search, just type in Kali Center Sinawali or Double Stick or Kali Center Heaven Six, and then you'll get some good breakdown videos of all of these drills. But let's take a look at what they look like in the Filipino blades. Okay, we got our Heaven Six. And we have our Double Weave, or some styles will call this the Redonda. Sometimes when you use a different name, this is kind of one of the uh, silly things of Filipino martial arts. Sometimes when you use a different name than what one style or system is used to, they get mad at you. They go, that's not double weave, that is redonda. Dude, whatever man, it's all the same movements. All right, but we have all the same movements here, right? We can apply it. Let's take a look at what this looks like on the twin broadswords. So from here, we got our twin broadswords. And yes, we can still work our Heaven Six. Check that out. We could even go back into the wrist cuts. Doesn't always have to come off of the shoulder. We can go into the Redonda or the Double Weave. Okay. So as you can see, in Kali, we can work all of the same movements it doesn't matter what the weapon is that we have in our hand. You want to see another one that's pretty cool? How about some double hooks? Can we do these same drills, these same motions with this more exotic weapon from Kung Fu? Absolutely. It may not always be the most comfortable with these, but you can still work it. Yep. Even if we go to a single, we can still work our basic angles, downwards, upwards, and our horizontal and vertical angles. So as you can see, whether you're using a stick, a bolo, or a weapon from a different style of martial arts, you can train in Kali. You can train in Filipino martial arts. Whatever gear you have laying around from whatever experience you have from any martial art, if you want to begin Kali, begin. Don't think that you need some special Filipino martial arts gear and don't necessarily have to you know, wait for your cool new rattan sticks to come in the mail. Whatever you have available, pick it up and start training. 
Here at Collie Center on the YouTube channel, I have over a thousand great videos that you can start learning from for free. Go through my catalog of videos just in the YouTube search, just type in Collie Center Single Stick, Collie Center Double Stick, Collie Center Knife, Collie Center Footwork, Collie Center Spotty Adaga, Collie Center Spear, Collie Center Staff, Collie Center Empty Hands, Collie Center Kicks, and you'll have a huge collection of great videos that will get you started in your Filipino martial arts journey, regardless of the gear that you have. I hope that you appreciate this video, whether you are brand new to Filipino martial arts or you are an experienced 30-year veteran. This channel is all about and has always been all about promoting Filipino martial arts as a whole, not just Kali Center. We want to get everybody training. This is what Kali Center is all about. It's about training. It's not about gear. So it's up to you now. Grab your gear, get out there, and go train. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments below what gear have you trained with outside of Filipino martial arts typical gear. What have you experimented with in your Filipino martial arts? Some Japanese weapons, some Chinese weapons, Korean weapons, European weapons. I'd love to hear about your experience down below. Let's share. I'll see you next time.